Do you want to supplement ashwagandha, but you're unsure about its side effects? Well, here's everything you need to know about them. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. And if this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Ashwagandha is a very potent Ayurvedic herb that possesses very strong stress relieving properties. It has been used in traditional medicine for ages uh, because it helped people reduce and relieve anxiety and stress. And today in the modern world, it is also often used as a great alternative to antidepressants. Now, I've been taking ashwagandha for a very long time, for several years actually, and I can tell you it is a real game changer. But the thing is, ashwagandha is non-toxic, however, many people report certain side effects and not many people talk about the side effects, especially not many experts. So I decided to check all the potential side effects you can experience with ashwagandha and that's what I'm going to talk about today and I'll also tell you how to avoid those side effects. So, Let's check the first and the most common side effects. And the most common side effects are diarrhea and upset stomach. I personally never experienced those issues because I always follow the recommended daily dosage and I always took a quality extract. Um, but uh, you can happen to have this issue and if it does happen to you, then uh, you need to check if you're taking a quality compound uh, or if you're taking maybe a too high dosage of ashwagandha. People who reported those issues to me uh, are my followers who were experimenting with uh, other nootropics and they were uh, combining them, making their own nootropic stacks. Um, so if you don't do that at home, uh, if you know what you're taking, if you're taking the right quality compound at the right dosage, then this should not happen to you and um, you shouldn't worry about these effects too much. Also keep in mind that the recommended daily dosage is 300 to 600 milligrams per day of an extract and you can take up to six grams of powder. If you stick to that, then those side effects that I mentioned are uh, probably not gonna happen. But if you get over that, then well, you never know what's gonna happen. Sedation and mild drowsiness can also happen to you. Yes, it is true, ashwagandha is a little bit sedative and it can cause drowsiness. Now, if you are a very active individual, if you are a CEO, a manager, or a professional that need lots of uh, brain power and try to achieve peak performance, then uh, I suggest you do not take ashwagandha in the morning because if you do, then yeah, you can maybe feel, have less energy, maybe feel more drowsiness and uh, so on. And the problem with drowsiness is that it can lead to demotivation. Now, I didn't find a side effect um, in any of the studies, it wasn't reported, but some people talked about demotivation and probably it happens to them because, well, they have less energy, they feel more relaxed and uh, maybe because of that they feel less motivated. Now this similar happens if you supplement Bacopa Monieri and I often combine these two adaptogen herbs and you can learn more about Bacopa up here. So if this is a problem for you and if you really want to be productive, want to be in this peak performance state, then again uh, take ashwagandha in the afternoon or in the evening even better uh, to avoid uh, those issues. Now other side effects include increased thyroid levels, Yes, ashwagandha can increase your thyroid levels and this can be especially problematic if you suffer from hyperthyroidism. It can decrease your blood pressure level, it can cause constipation and it can even decrease your appetite. By the way guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now those side effects are very rare. I rarely heard about them. Um, also, if you look at the scientific research, um, you know, they happen very, very rarely, but if they do, here's what you can do. So first of all, always follow the recommended daily dosage. Never take a higher than recommended daily dosage because that's when usually people suffer from the side effects that I just mentioned. Secondly, always take a quality extract. Personally, I'm a big fan of two extracts. One is called KSM 66 and the other is called Sensoril. Both are great, both are standardized extracts, but there are some small differences and you can learn more about them in this video up here. Another thing you can do is do not take ashwagandha in the morning and always cycle it. This means uh, take it for a while, maybe for five days in a row and then stay two days off or maybe take it for three weeks in a row and then stay one week off just to be on the safe side. By the way guys, do you want to know how well does your brain work? Well, check our free brain assessment below in the description, there's a link and get your brain health score. Now, if you have issues with drowsiness, then you can combine ashwagandha with a stimulant like coffee or caffeine, or even with green tea extract or L-theanine. This 
may increase your energy levels, uh, this can boost your focus, and these compounds work really well together. Now, there has been one case when a person was giving uh, five grams of ashwagandha for 10 days in a row, and this person suffered from itching sensation on his penis. So if you have a penis, and if this happens to you, then of course, stop taking ashwagandha immediately and consult your doctor. But yeah, no doubt about that, ashwagandha is a real game changer. There are so many benefits you can expect uh, from ashwagandha. We didn't talk about those benefits today, but uh, check out this video up here and really learn everything you need to know about ashwagandha before you start supplementing it. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram, and I hope to see you soon again.